need to melt this coconut oil. Yay! I am so glad you could join. Hi! Well, this is a redo. <laughs> you may remember I made this in a previous video, and I'll put a link to it there. Uh, just click on the little eye up in the corner. I don't know which corner. It's either in that corner or that corner. I'm not sure. Um, but there will be a link to the video. And I did, and because that one, the holes were so small, the soap just didn't go down through it. So I've re-drilled these. And two sizes bigger. <laughs> <laughs> which I think will make a difference. We're about to find out. And here are my colors. Venado, green indigo root, yellow dock, and uh, French yellow clay mixed together because dock can be a little finicky in coloring uh, in soap. And blue indigo. Some of my usual suspects I know, but hey, when you find something that works, go with it, right? What I'll be doing is taking a little bit of the oil and mixing in with each of these. All right, so I've got my essential oils here. This is lemon, cedar wood, and a touch of anise. Isn't that odd? That's the yellow clay and the yellow dock. That's why yellow dock is just odd. It's kind of an odd duck sometimes. It's an odd dock duck.
thanks so much for joining me for the cat. Sorry for all the silence there. I have had sort of a sore throat for a couple days, so I'm talking a little less in this video, but it's a little better today during the cut. What I had decided here was to cut this into three sections and then turn those and cut those in the other direction. And I messed it up and cut the wrong direction. But hey, I give it a shot. Actually, on this one, I think I got it right on the first one. We'll see. But uh, I had, did have a lot of fun making this one. I truly did. Any of these where the design is hidden until the cut are just thrilling still to me. So if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll click on that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And of course, if you'd leave a comment, that would be terrific. I really do love reading your comments and responding to them. I don't know. This has really given me a sense of community. So again, I'd like to ask that if you have any suggestions, if you have a desire you'd like to see in so, throw it out to me. I'll do my best. I really will. Um, now, there's one recipe I'm working on for a special request, which uses crepe myrtle. And I actually have some of my pink crepe myrtle blossoms uh, infusing in some oil, trying to get some color from them so that I can make that. So not every request can be done right away. Some take some preparation and some I can do right away. Uh, like the uh, previous avocado soap. You know, these are requests from members. So if there's something you want to see, let me know. If there's something you want me to talk about in a video, I'd be happy to do that too. How about a Q&A session? Matter of fact, what I'd like is for you all to put any questions you have in the comments of this video. You know, do you have any questions about soaping? Do you have any questions about me, who I am, or about me? Well, this is your opportunity. So put those questions in and I promise I'll do my best to answer every one of them. So I want to wish you all just a very happy day and I look forward to hearing from you and uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.